Hi, I'm Cindy. And I'm Dave. We're glad you're here. Thanks for checking out Kotaku Banzai. Hey there. Today I wanted to show you how the marketplace on Facebook can be a great way for you to find new trees that you can add to your collection. Come along with me and I'll show you how. Now whenever you're getting ready to do a dig, there's a couple things you need to know. The first one is always have permission. Please don't just go digging up random trees. Always connect with the homeowner, your friend, your neighbor, get permission before you dig. Here's the oak tree that we're gonna be pulling out today. And it is a uh, thick trunk. It was about 16, 18 feet tall. It's a real nice specimen, real thick at the base. And we're gonna expect some uh, roots that are just as stout. The other thing I wanted to mention is to make sure that you have the dig site marked for utilities. Because the last thing you wanna do is put your shovel in the ground and hit a power line or a telephone line or the internet line. We want you to be safe and we want the homeowner's property to uh, not be destroyed or damaged. So let's grab our tools and get started. I'm just gonna start by taking this down to uh, a workable size between the loppers and the handheld chainsaw in pretty short order we can get that tree down to a manageable size that will fit in the back of my truck as well Now I'm going to start digging the hole and using the shovel we're going to go around the base of the tree and we're going to start to sever the roots and pull some soil out to form a root ball. And in the process you're going to feel where the main roots are because the shovel might not go through there. And so as you work around and around and around, you'll eventually get to expose the larger roots. And for those guys, you'll need something extra like an ax, a saw, loppers, or the handheld chainsaw, which by the way, comes in really handy on projects like this. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, this is heavy hard work. I put on some weight over the winter, which tends to help with projects like this. And you'll get to the point where there's a tap root at the bottom. And as you work the tree back and forth in different directions, you'll be able to feel which roots are hanging it up. 
And as you finally break them all free, you can get it out of the ground. What you want to do then is use your loppers or your tools to reduce the big roots further. Finally get it into a pot where you can transport it, give it a new home, kind of give it some kicks to uh, get the dirt down into the nooks and crannies there. And take it home. I'll use the tarp to uh, cover the back of my truck just so it doesn't get too filthy. That was just in time for a snow squall that was moving in, so I had great timing to get the tree out of the ground. So that's just one way to do it. No matter how you do it, I wish you great success and good luck in bringing trees home and expanding your collections.